Hi everyone and thank you once again for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing the unboxing of the Thunderbolt 3 cable. So I bought this from Amazon.ae okay, for 169 dirhams. Okay. So I essentially bought this to uh, connect my computer to my QNAP NAS drive, a video which I had made earlier. So my QNAP has four Thunderbolt 3 connections available so I can connect up to four computers simultaneously okay, using the Thunderbolt uh, protocol. However, uh, PCs by default are not native Thunderbolt because uh, though many motherboard manufacturers have been providing Thunderbolt header on the motherboard, not many people have been utilizing it whereas Mac users have been using it for quite some time now. So, though the technology is good, it's fairly sketchy, you know, how do you go about doing it, how do you install it, how do you utilize it, etc. You know, because the documentation is pretty poor. You know? So, uh, my motherboard has a Thunderbolt 3 header on it and it's an Asus motherboard and that's why I bought this uh, Asus EX3 Thunderbolt card, you know. So one, I was, I was trying to figure out a way to get this working, you know, for some reason, it just doesn't work. I've tried all the possible ways. So I have a dual operating system, Windows 7 and Windows 10. Okay. So on the Windows 10, it seems to be installed correctly now, both the uh, Thunderbolt driver as well as the USB driver seems to be installed correctly. Uh, while on the Windows 7, the Thunderbolt driver seems to be in, is installed, but the USB driver is still unrecognized. I anyways, um, even after installing the uh, uh, driver correctly, I'm assuming so, okay, in the Windows 10 operating system, I connected my Thunderbolt card to the QNAP using the... Uh, not this Thunderbolt 3 cable. I had earlier purchased a USB type C cable. Okay. So this one is 2 meters long and costs only 79 dirhams. Okay. Whereas this Thunderbolt 3 is only 0.8 meters long and it costs 169 dirhams, you know. Obviously, you're paying a lot of money for the brand name Apple itself, but nevertheless, there's a huge price difference between the two. Okay. So, um, when I checked at the store, the person, I mean, at the Apple store, he said, uh, yeah, you, this should be good enough, you know, you, this should be good enough to get data off of your, uh, you know, your NAS drive or, or, or off of your Thunderbolt device. However, when I connected this, Okay, by the way, this is already open, so there's no unboxing video for this. Okay, so this is the cable here. Nice thick cable, good quality. Okay, so they look almost the same. So I connect this, is where I got it connected to the uh, you see, I uh, can focus. Yeah, so this is the USB. 3.0 Type A, the Thunderbolt Type C, and the dis mini Display Port. Okay, so I connected this over here, and the other end went into my uh, QNAP. Nothing, it doesn't recognize. So either the installation of my drive is drivers are not correct, or this uh, Type C cable just doesn't do the trick. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to unbox this right now. Some paperwork. Give it to Apple, the packaging is always top of the line. So, 
thickness is the same quality also is the same pretty very good quality and if you look at this this is the thunderbolt cable thunderbolt 3 and this is a regular usb type c uh, this is more thicker this is more thicker this is more thick i mean more wider uh, less wide more narrower uh, but the the connection is exactly the same can you focus here yeah. so you can recognize that this is a thunderbolt 3 because thunderbolt cable because it's got the thunderbolt logo on it okay can i focus on this one So this is a short cable, 0.8 meters. So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to try and connect this back into my computer. Okay. And by the way, uh, not just connecting it, there's a whole lot of installation process that, that needs to you need to check, take care of when you're installing Thunderbolt 3. If I'm successful in activating my Thunderbolt, I will, you know, make a video on it, you know. Uh, so you, it comes along with this. Then you got the uh, Thunderbolt header cable. Okay, so this one goes into the motherboard, and this one connects over here. This one connects over here, and then you connect this uh, uh, this cable to the back of this card here, in the display port, and the other end into the display port of your graphics card. So that's the physical connections that you need to make of, make take care of. And then uh, you connect, technically speaking, you connect the Thunderbolt 3 cable in here and the other end into the other Thunderbolt device. So uh, let me see now, okay, and hopefully I will make a follow-up video whether it was successful or not successful. So uh, that's about it folks, it's a very simple one. Thunderbolt 3 cable, USB type C cable. For all regular purposes for data transfer, they are interchangeable. You can use a Thunderbolt 3 cable in a USB type uh, type C port and you can do the data transfer. Similarly, you should be able to connect this one to a, a Thunderbolt 3 port. Uh, that's what they was that's what I was told, but when I checked on my computer, it was not responding, it was not even recognizing. So either the installation is incorrect or it's it this it doesn't work the other way around. Okay. However, if you need the maximum speed of 40 gigabits per second, you need to connect a Thunderbolt cable into a Thunderbolt port and into into a Thunderbolt device. Then you get the maximum benefit of the Thunderbolt connection speed. It's really really uh, you know good when it comes to huge data transfer. Okay. So uh, that's about it. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave a like. If you have any comments or uh, any new insight regarding um, the Thunderbolt installation or configuration, do let me know. I, I'm all ears, you know, because I've been trying to get this working for a long time now. Okay. Thank you once again, and you have a wonderful day. Okay, so uh, this part of the video was made later. Thunderbolt device has been connected. There you go. It says that the Thunderbolt is connected. So um, the takeaway is that at the end, you need to make sure that you have the Thunderbolt 3 cable itself connected. USB Type-C cable will not work. And if someone tries to sell you that, saying that that is good enough, no, that, that's, uh, that's not correct. Okay. So for Thunderbolt to work, you need the Thunderbolt 3 cable itself. So each time, you, each time my computer boots up, even on Windows 7 and Windows 10, uh, the moment it is detected by the Thunderbolt uh, card installed in the QNAP, the message is sent out saying that the Thunderbolt is connected. And when I disconnect, uh, it sends out a similar notification saying that the Thunderbolt is disconnected. So 
So I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I will be um, making another video just to show you step by step on what are the what you need to do to make sure that Thunderbolt is uh, installed successfully on your computer. Thunderbolt device has been disconnected. There you go. It is disconnected now. Thank you once again and you have a wonderful day.